Now, speaking of things I don't know what to say about, whoo, ex-Northwestern player says that Coach Fat Pat Fitzgerald failed by not stopping hazing. And Northwestern, Northwestern is reconsidering Fitzgerald's penalty amid a hazing probe. Y'all catch that? Because I butchered it. Basically, uh-oh, Pat Fitzgerald got a little suspension. Now, we're going to see how much of a penalty he faces. Damn. They out there hazing at Northwestern to the next level, according to these accusations. All of that, and they still sorry as hell. Let's talk through this. All right, so a former Northwestern football player came forward with allegations, widespread hazing with the program. He talked to the university president, Michael Shield, considering now harsher discipline for Coach Pat Fitzgerald. I'm going to tell y'all why. So the former player who spoke to ESPN, of course, on the condition of anonymity, that means I want to say it, but uh, I don't want to deal with the consequences. I hate this, but we got to talk through it. He said he told Shield about the hazing he witnessed and experienced at Northwestern. Oh, mo much of it, he said, was sexualized. Uh, that already takes me to that Jalen Green video. Remember, I told y'all. You got these athletes, um, these athletes like me too. I seen it. It's crazy up in that locker room. Let's talk about this situation. So Shield said he's going to have to reassess the two week suspension Fitzgerald received Friday following a university commissioned investigation of these hazing allegations. So here's a description of the hazing that they said occurred. Hazing activity called running led by a group of older players called the Shrek gang. Running usually against a freshman or younger players who make mistakes in practice, okay? So the older players, upperclassmen, wearing masks will restrain the victim in a dark locker room and engage in sexualized behavior. Former players said he was run as a freshman and they've been held down against their will by numerous upperclassmen with masks on and have him being violent, violently dry humped in a dark room. Yeah, so he says this is sexual abuse, sexual assault. I don't know why the university isn't making the details public. So allegedly Fitzgerald would signal for players to be added to Shrek's list with specific clapping motion during practice. Not saying this is true or false, but I can see that mechanism at play. When coach is in on something with the players, he'd be like, <laughs> and then everybody like, ah, oh, got to get them. Like, it's not always a negative thing. Coach is sometimes on, on a good thing with us. But when coach does that, we know what he's talking about, all right? So the player said he saw him do this at least five times since 2020. And the vast majority of the team would join in on it. Ah, the lawyer in me right now says, interesting. You're trying to pin this on the coach when you just said a vast majority of the team would join in on it. Was everybody joining in on it? One. And two, was everyone enlightened and privy to what was happening? He may have just told on himself right there. And obviously you could see a disconnect from a group of players and their head coach. Interesting. So he said the names would be added to the whiteboard in the locker room and that running would take place during certain times of the year. And the former player also said he sent a picture of the whiteboard headline Shrek's list and listed the names of the players. They did things like naked slingshot, naked bear cross, naked exchange, naked pass rush, etc. Okay, the rest of this is simple. Fitz, it, it, Fitz obviously denies all of this. The university said that, hey, we looked into it a ton. And then now you're going to have to figure out what happens. Basically, they're going to need a smoking gun. They're going to have to connect it to where Fitzgerald had the knowledge and it occurred under his watch with that knowledge. Because just happening on your watch, not good enough to really get rid of the coach in this situation. Why? Because there is a disconnect. Why? Because the player didn't even say anything when it was happening. Hmm. So if the player said, yeah, I went to coach, coach didn't say anything, and then he kept giving the signals, now we got a smoking gun. But right now, everything was kept under wraps. And then now a former player says something that's interesting. Here's one thing that I think is really interesting about this. Another player said that his sole objective of bringing this out was just to get Fitzgerald fired. He said he just kept emphasizing, yeah, it'll be okay. I'm just trying to get Coach Fritz fired. 
I don't think he ever acknowledged what he's saying is not true. It was just like I might embellish, exaggerate to get Coach Fitz fired. He said his sole goal was to get him put in jail and to rot in jail. The truth is, none of that stuff happened in our locker room. So y'all believe these hazing allegations? One, it's another anonymous person saying it. Two, do you think Fitzgerald should be fired? Now, the players have come out in support of Fitzgerald in part because there is a cultural pressure. Like if you own a team right now and your coach is under investigation, blindly you're like, uh, let me support him or not say anything at all because you want to keep your reps. You want to keep your status. But ah, oh, is this a cover up or is there really a crime at play? I've never went through anything like this. I went through hazing. I actually uh, enjoyed the hazing process because it was a rite of passage for me, but we didn't go to this extent as well. So I just want to see what you guys think about this story in those comments.